Hi right, everybody, welcome back. We're gonna do another Pico CTF challenge, and uh, this time we're gonna be doing Python Wrangling. So let's go ahead and open up the description and get started. So Python scripts are invoked kind of like programs in the terminal. Can you run this Python script using this password to get the flag? Okay, so uh, there are three flags, uh, there are three files that we need to download. And uh, let's take a quick look at the hints like we always do. Okay, so this is basically just, if you're deciding to use the web shell, this is gonna be the way for you to download it. You're gonna download, you're gonna copy from the W all the way down to the end here. You're gonna copy all of this text and you're gonna paste it into the editor when you sign into the web shell. Now, uh, um, I'm gonna be using my Ubuntu Linux box for this. So uh, let's go ahead and get started on doing that. I close that out. Okay. So uh, the other hint real quick before I jump into that is uh, it's just telling you that you have the option. If you don't know how to use Python, that you can read through the manual for Python. So man base Python is, is uh, the code. Man dash Python is the command you use to, to, uh, to get a little bit more information about Python. All right. So our first step is going to be to download our files. So let's go ahead and download all three of them. We have end, E-N-D-E dot P-Y. We have E-W dot T-X-T. And we have flag dot T-X-T dot E-N. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the terminal. Let's open up a new terminal window here for this. And then we're going to, uh, we're gonna, I, I put everything in the downloads folder for this. Generally, I'll use a a project folder, but in this case, I'm just using the download folder. It's a little simpler. All right, let's change directories to the downloads folder real quick. And ls, so we can list out the files that are in the folder. And uh, let's take a quick look at them real quick. I'm gonna use nano for this. Generally, generally I'll use vi or vim for this, but um, I'm, I'm, I'm showing you that nano is really easy for beginners for command line text editing. Um, the first one we're gonna look at is gonna be pw.txt. Okay. I'm not exactly familiar with this. Um, if it's a cipher, I'm not familiar with it. So um, we might have to come back to this for me to figure out what exactly it is. I'm gonna hit Control X to get out of it. Since we didn't edit anything, it's not gonna ask us any more questions. All right, and then let's look at a flag file. Okay, that does look like a cipher text. Okay, so let's get out of that. I'm not gonna be able to do anything with it right away. And then let's look at the um, Python file real quick. Make this a little bigger so we can read it. Okay, so we're importing sys base64 and, and this cryptography.fernet. Okay, so it looks like there's, um, this is, is a variable that's storing a message. Uh, it looks like it's teaching us how to use it. Okay, help message. Statement, this statement down here, so if, Okay, so there's options that it's giving us here, and it's saying that if we, depending on which one we use, it's gonna ask us for a password, and that's gonna allow us to encrypt something. So E is encrypt. I'm assuming that D is decrypt. Decrypt, decrypt. Um, password for, yep, there we go. Sure enough, decrypt, okay. It looks like that's all it's doing. Print, use the, okay, so it's saying, and then if it doesn't recognize the parameter, so um, that's what that, okay. Okay, so this makes, this makes a lot of sense. All right, so we wanna run this command and we wanna, we wanna send our, it looks like we wanna decrypt it and then we wanna attach our file that we're gonna, we want it to decrypt. Okay, so it looks like it's gonna let us do that. The problem we have now is um, uh, the password. I don't know the password, um, but it did give us a password, but I don't know if that's an encryption or not. So let me open up that as a file itself. Just have this file right here. Let's just try it. That's what, uh, that's what CTFs are all about. Just give it a, you know, the old college try. All right, so we wanna run a Python 
program in the uh, in the command line in in, sh in our uh, terminal window here. So what we're going to do is we need to write out Python three, and then we're going to say uh, the Python name that we're going to write. And it said we wanted to decrypt, so we're going to throw that flag in there based on the rules that it gave us. So it looks we're, it looks like we're going to pass that in there, and then um, our password is. Um, uh, we're, we're, we wanted to decrypt the flag, so flag.txt.en. So that should be all we have to do. Okay, and we got a password. So please enter the password. Okay, so I'm just going to control shift V. And that is the password as it was in that file. No, no modifications. Okay, and there's our flag. So it looks like that was all it was that is not encrypted. That is legitimately the password. So let's go ahead and Copy this, copy, and then we'll come over here and we'll paste it. And then I've already completed this flag, so it's gonna say you solved it again, but for you, it should say, um, it should show uh, green uh, for, you know, yay, you're done and you, if you solved it. So uh, th that's, that's it for uh, Python Wrangling. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to post them in the chat. This is a fairly simple uh, CTF, but if you're unfamiliar with Python, it might be a little bit confusing for you, but I say give it a try anyway. Uh, start studying a little bit more about Python, uh, and that might help out a lot for moving forward. Python's a very easy, very, uh, very exciting programming language to learn, especially if it's your first one. So go ahead and uh, keep exploring, and I'll see you in the next video.